Childhood is never an easy time, especially for those growing up on Coronation Street. If I'd more than one or four in my pocket, I'd shout drinks all round. Yeah, well, uh, the original street teenager back in the 1960s was Lucille Hewitt, played by Jennifer Moss, a 16-year-old actress from Wigan. Jennifer first appeared in episode three and continued to play the angst-ridden Lucille for 14 years. I had a slightly different background from Lucille, and what I did was... Um, try to put myself into, you know, that background. And obviously there must have been some of me in her. I was very careful that not much money should be spent on her clothes, things like that. Whilst she was enjoying her life in the street, Jennifer met and married her first husband. He was the son of a millionaire, and for a short time they enjoyed a jet-set existence together. They had a daughter, Naomi, but the couple separated when financial matters between them deteriorated. I just couldn't afford him. I say, he is not a bad person. It's just, I really couldn't afford him anymore. Um, you know, I think I had the original toy boy in 1968. Naomi's arrival was wonderful. And I, I have a very close um, relationship with, with Naomi. We have a sort of similar, very similar sense of humor. She's lovely. And so are her children, of course. Yes, I've got two lovely grandsons. Absolutely wonderful. Hello, Lucille. Jennifer succeeded in portraying Lucille as a young northern woman, but she failed to make a success of her private life. After playing Lucille for 10 years, her personal problems escalated dramatically. I started drinking heavily, and it got in the way of my work. And, of course, uh, nobody said to me, look here, you know, you're, you're going to end up in a mess. I wish, I wish there had been somebody there. Where do you think you're going? Get off! I you said, where are you going? Get off! Get off! Get off! You don't want kids, you shouldn't have them. What's going on? Who doesn't want kids? They don't want me, and you don't die as an that mother. And I met um, my second husband whilst I was in Coronation Street, but we didn't get married whilst I was in Coronation Street. We, we married afterwards. And um, that, that wasn't so good. Well, um, actually, that was sort of... Uh, that was a pretty awful marriage. It's, um, it's not something I particularly want to dwell on. Um, I spent time in battered wives' homes and things like this, and it's... Uh, it was a bad five years. Because of her drinking and marital problems, Jennifer was asked to leave the programme in 1974. Later, she decided to leave her second husband. I was homeless. I was living in um, a place where, whereby you had to get up in the morning, pack your belongings, and I didn't even have a suitcase, into carrier bags and walk the streets of Liverpool. Unfortunately, I had to put Naomi into care because I had to get sober. She wasn't taken from me when I was drinking, but as soon as I admitted what I was, did something about it, got sober, they then pounced. Social services pounced and took her. I mean, it was all back to front. I always remember them dragging her out of court and her screaming, Mummy, don't let them put me into care. Whilst Jennifer was trying to get help to fight her alcoholism, she went through two more short and disastrous marriages. She eventually found the inner strength to control her drinking and returned to small acting jobs in radio and television. She then met her present husband, Stephen, who's 16 years younger than her. Drinks first. Two things by the end of the night. They recently moved to Scotland, but the past still causes Jennifer some pain. Life is not fair. And if anybody ever tells you it is, they're lying. 